Let's describe the bonding and the shape in SEF4. In order to do that, you need to start with a good Lewis electron dot structure. So you have to be very good at drawing your Lewis electron dot structures. Here's SEF4. And what I've done here is I've drawn the Lewis electron dot structure, and then I've suppressed all the electrons around the fluorines because they're kind of getting in the way here. And what we really need is the steric number around selenium. So that steric number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have to accommodate four fluorines and a lone pair for steric number five. Once I have the steric number, I can get to the geometry. It also gives me the hybridization. So steric number five means I'm going to use five equivalent hybrid orbitals. They're going to come from the five standard atomic orbitals, D, S, and three Ps. The VSEPR arrangement for five things is trigonal bipyramidal. It looks like this. So our trigonal bipyramidal arrangement, but in this case, when we go to the molecular shape, we ignore electron pairs. So we always name our shapes without the electron pair. So removing that electron pair gives me a shape that looks like this, a little seesaw. So there's an electron pair here, but the molecular shape is named just by the atoms. So a seesaw configuration, and I'll have two bond angles. I'll have a bond angle of 180 degrees and a bond angle of 120 degrees. So a 120 degree bond angle and a 180 degree bond angle for the fluorines in SEF4.